Hello everyone, this is Julia from Craft Room Adventures. Thank you so much for joining me today. This time I have a Halloween card to share with you. In Germany we don't really celebrate Halloween much, but these stamps are just too cute not to use. I stamped out all of the images of the little boo agenda from Mama Elephant onto Bristol Smooth cardstock with some Versafine Onyx Black ink and I cut them out using my brother's scan cut die cutting machine and now I'm just coloring them with uh, Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers and Arteza brush pens and a water brush. I'm using the color 99 which is cool grey for the ghosts and I'm just shading them in a tiny bit since I do want them to mostly remain white. Now I'm using a little bit of 055 for the party hat and a little bit of uh, 80, which is violet for the balloon and the star in the party hat. I also use number 80 for this one. I don't end up using those goes, that's why I didn't list them above, but uh, those were the colors I used in case you're cur curious. Now I'm using a little bit of oatmeal, which is number 64, to shade in the bandages on the posts. Now I'm using the number 80 violet again for the, the lollipop and the book. And I'm using ash black uh, number 172 in the Ateza markers for the hats. For the broomsticks I'm using number 178, which is ginger. And number 137, which is tawny. Now I'm just deepening up the shadows on the book with number 80 violet. And doing the same thing with the Witch's head. For the band on the head, I'm also using number eighty violet and the zig markers. And that finishes up the coloring. For the background, I'm using a panel of Bristol Smooth cardstock and the distressings in Wilted Violet, Dusty Concord and Black Soot. I die cut a circle out of some um, masking paper and I'm I placed that in the a little more to the right of the center of the top of the panel and I started 
blending some wilted violet around it, trying to avoid the uh, area of the circle mostly. So because I wanted to have like a halo effect around the moon. Then I'm blending the dusty concord a little further around and I'm deepening up the shadows with black soot distress ink. Now for the finishing touches I'm blending the wilted violet directly over the circle to uh, make sure I have a distinct moon shape later. I'm just blending the colors back and forth until they look like a spooky night sky. Taking a pair of tweezers to remove the sticker and there's our moon. I die cut the winter forest cover by Mama Elephant three times out of black cardstock and adhered those on top of each other. And I also die cut uh, a little speech bubble from the Polaroid Fun die set. I cut it out of black cardstock and ink blended a little bit of Wilted Violet Distress Oxide ink to give it a purple color. And now I'm just heat embossing the boo as my greeting for the speech bubble in white. I'm using the uh, opaque bright white super fine embossing powder by WOW. Now I'm just adding my Lawn Fawn liquid glue to uh, the back of the forest panel. Uh, like I mentioned, I have three die cuts layered on top of each other to give it some dimension. And I will just be placing that on top of the background. Now I'm just putting some scrapbook adhesives in foam squares on the back of my images and adhering them to the panel. There goes my little speech bubble. I'm just trying to figure out if I want it straight or a little at an angle. And this is the position I decided to go with. Now I'm adhering everything to an A2 sized black card base. And that finishes up my card. I really like the moon with a purple background. It was a lot of fun to make. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. Until the next one, have a great day. Bye!